Every day, a refinery processes thousands of liters of crude oil. Here, safety is the top priority, and this demands the requisite infrastructure. One of the most important safety features is the flaring system. One of these massive flares is now about to be serviced. Hier wird inspiziert, ob Korrosionen vorhanden sind, ob die Beschichtung im Behälter noch in Ordnung ist und ob das ganze System einwandfrei funktioniert, wenn es wieder in Betrieb ist. The flares may only have a job to do on rare occasions, but when they are needed, the role they play is even more critical. The processes of a refinery produce surplus gas, and the goal is to use this gas sensibly. This is why the gas is fed into the plant's furnaces and into power plants to produce power or steam. However, technical problems can mean that there is so much gas that it must be disposed of in a different way. This is when one of multiple ground-level flares is activated. They are massive steel cylinders, the height of a 10-story building. Inside, the gases are combusted in a way that is invisible, silent, and environmentally sound, thereby producing steam and carbon dioxide. But there are rare cases when the ground-level flares cannot handle the input. This is when the vertical flare stacks are activated automatically. As these flare stacks burn off the gas at high temperatures and heights exceeding 60 meters, in essence, the gas disappears without a trace. But actually, the gas from the production process is far too valuable to be disposed of through flaring. This is why a refinery's flaring system is a rarely used but important safety feature. During the servicing, the team only had to make a few small improvements. Now, the flare can be put back in place with a 500-ton crane so that it is once again ready for use, completely reliable, whatever the hour.